it's Deion Taylor, writer and director extraordinaire. <laughs> but he, he wrote a, a beautiful script, a very powerful story, and um, that message right there on human trafficking. Prior to the movie, you know, I started doing research and stuff like that. It was mind blowing. Um, some of the statistics and it's such a big domestic problem, you know? So that's part of what pulled me in uh, to want to shine a light on that issue. Um, I was just, I, I would have never, just as a black filmmaker, I don't think I would have ever explored making a movie surrounded by trafficking. And uh, what happened was I ended up receiving an email uh, from my daughter's school, who's 12 at the time. and. It was like local kids at the mall are being trafficked. Don't drop your kids off. And I was just like, what is this? And uh, originally I looked at it a couple of times. I was like, well, that doesn't really apply to me because I'm African-American. I think this is an international thing. And I was shocked to find out that 62% of the women that are being trafficked are African-American kids and adult women. And uh, domestically, it's at the highest level it's ever been. And I just felt crazy because I was like, why don't I know that? And um, I started going down the, the avenue of trying to figure out how to make a thriller, uh, but actually put this as the undercurrent. And uh, I think we did a really, really good job at it. The movie is insane, yeah. I mean, I, I learned that it's a human trafficking, first of all, is slavery. So we can use the politically correct term, but I think we saw overseas, you know, what yeah. was happening in Libya and all of that. We, we look at it from that lens, but it's happening right here in our backyard. And that's like the biggest takeaway for me is for people, it's for us to, we've been able to entertain while informing. So that's the perfect storm. Yeah, know? I like that. Yeah. I, uh, I think for forever we've been sitting in this world where, you know, Hollywood has been able to put out one, one black film a year or whatever that is for the last 20 years. And most of the time they're successful because it's an underserved market. But I think what's beginning to happen is not about black. I think it's more so about just dope storytellers and making films that speak to the culture. So Moonlight with Barry Jenkins was, was epic. Get Out was epic. Black Panther's epic. So I think what's happened is now they've steamrolled and pushed all the doors down to where now people want to see more films that have more color and more energy uh, versus just the same old bland stories. And uh, I think that's where you're getting the urban fusion at now. Um, including traffic, like I think we were just discussing this before, but you look at the poster and understand what the trailer is and, and, and the concept of the movie, that's not a black film. We would typically not get that movie. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? They would never make that movie. So again, here we are with the same, you know, audacity to do it like Moonlight, get out, make your own stories, but changing the storylines.